Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Crystal Loves Polish. My name's Crystal, nice to meet you. And today we're going to look at the brand called Moon Cat. And we're going to look specifically at their Underworld collection. It recently came out a couple weeks ago. And I'm actually wearing um, this one right here on my nails currently because I couldn't wait. This is called House of Hades. And I know this one sold out fairly quickly, um, but I'm not sure if they've had a chance to restock that or not, but I know they will soon. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm just a regular girl who loves nail polish and especially indie nail polish. I'm glad you're able to join me. And I wanted to just watch this for you today so you can get an idea of the brand, how, how the packaging is, how the bottle is. Maybe not the packaging, but just the bottle, the presentation, the brush inside, the formula, what types of colors and formulations they have, how it applies. And I'm gonna show you first the haul that I have and show you the colors and the names. And then I'm gonna do two coats each of each color onto one of these little swatch rings so that you can see. Okay, and go ahead and leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. And I had to do kind of a just quick indoor setup here today. Normally I prefer doing these swatch videos outside. It's a beautiful day, beautiful sunshine, birds chirping, everything. Um, but unfortunately my next door neighbor decided to uh, do a makeover on their whole backyard this weekend. So they have every single kind of um, construction worker and they have like chainsaws and um, like jackhammers and, and weed, you know, weed whackers and wood chippers and all of that going on at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to look amazing when they finish, but, um, you know, it prevented me from filming all day yesterday and, uh, I have a wildflower haul video. My my most excited four monthly haul is my wildflower haul video. Um, and I have that just kind of pending on the side, waiting for, to be able to film outside, but it's, I don't think it's gonna happen this weekend. <laughs> so anyway, today we're just gonna look at this Mooncat collection and I'm gonna be kind of quick, you know, and, and I'm just gonna show you these briefly and I'm not really gonna do any comparisons or anything today, but um, but if you are curious about this brand Mooncat more, um, you might wanna go back to my video history and I did one a little while ago from the same brand Mooncat and it was their Alice in Wonderland collection box and polishes and I highly recommend and encourage you to go back and look at those because that video is amazing and those polishes were great. So let me just go through this um, this collection first. Again, this is called the Underworld Collection. It came out fairly quickly after the Alice in Wonderland collection that I was telling you about. Um, so. The brand Mooncat seems like they do release collections pretty frequently um, compared to some other brands. But this is the first polish in the Underworld collection that I'm going to show you. And this is stunning. Again, I, I was aware that this polish sold out on their website fairly fast. Um, I mean, fast is relative, but since, you know, this is a larger volume brand, um, for it to sell out within like a few days or something, even a week, that's pretty fast. Uh, cause usually these larger brands, you know, they try to have 
some in stock at all times on their website. If one of the polishes does sell out, it usually means that, you know, it's highly, highly popular. And I can see why this one is, because that I couldn't even wait, like, to put this one on. It's stunning. You know, I didn't do that good of a job applying it on myself. <laughs> but it is stunning. Um, it's kind of like a dark, um, dark navy slash blurple base with this uh, very vivid, bright blue shimmer flash. And then this is the only one in the collection that has these micro flakes in it as well. So it's not just a shimmer. It's got this little bit of extra. And you know, I love that. <laughs> I love the little bit of extra and it is stunning. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised that this one sold out right away. Um, again, this one's called House of Hades. And yeah, if they do restock this one or if it is restocked, I highly recommend picking that one up. Again, I couldn't even wait to put it on, so it is stunning, okay? The next one in the collection that I'm going to show you is called Pandemonium. Pandemon Pandemonium. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's a little bit blurry. The font size is like micro level, um, but yeah, it's pandemonium okay and i really like this one it's a red it's just a red shimmer uh formula it's got a red base like maybe like a cherry red base with a pink pinkish like a purpley pink to gold shimmer flash but I really like the, um, like, you can see the gold kind of flashing, but I like how um, this one has, like, the purpley pink shimmer flash, like, right there. I like how it's kind of, like, on that purpley side, not, not too much on orangey side. Like, orangey side, like, when it turns to the gold, Shimmer, um, you know, you do kind of get a little bit of the orangey right there, but, um, you know, purple is my favorite color, so even though it's a pink flash, um, it's it leans, you know, more of the, um, I guess, cooler side of the pink, and so I really like that. I really like that a lot. Um, and I like reds too. I don't wear reds that much. But if you can see here, you know how I said it's just a shimmer formula. So I wanna show you how that looks different than this blue one has the added micro flakes inside. So if I can line it up here. So you see how um, with the shimmer formula red, it just looks kind of flat, right? And then it has the shimmer flash. Whereas the blue, you can see there's, it looks like there's some kind of added texture in there along with the blue shimmer flash. That added texture is the micro flakes. But it looks like texture, but it's not really like bumpy texture so like when i did it on my nails um this is just two coats and it's completely smooth um, i only used a regular top coat i did not have to use a uh a smoothing top coat because even though it looks like there's texture again it's not actually texture so um it, it will feel smooth on your nails so, you, but I mean, you would still want a top coat, right? Okay, so I really like this one too. This is the um, 
black to red multi-chrome of this brand. Almost every brand has their own black to red multi-chrome version. Um, and this color is called Gates of Hell. Gates of Hell. Okay, and again, this is their their Mooncat's version of their black to red multi-chrome formula. So what that means is like, if you look straight on, the polish looks almost even black, right? But when you shift it in the light, you can see that it starts to shift colors. So it'll shift like black and then a red, and then it usually goes to like a gold and then sometimes even a a green if it can if it can get that far. <laughs> I can see a little tiny bit of a lime green popping up. And you know what though, you guys? Um I'm really liking this one, this version from Mooncat because they have the addition of micro glitters in there. And um you know, maybe it's a little bit hard to see on camera sometimes, but you'll see like these little, looks like silver dots, tiny, 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 tiny little silver dots. And yeah, like when the, when it's in the shade or off the light, light reflection, you know, it just looks like little tiny silver micro dots. But when it hits the light, um, and again, it would have been very obvious if I was in the sun right now, which I'm not, but when it hits the light, because the micro glitter is hollow, holographic, what happens is um, when the light reflects off of these, you'll see a little bit down here, it starts to sparkle. And when it sparkles, sometimes it can even um, create like rainbows of color just by reflecting off the light, okay? Um, and you know what, these are so, this micro glitter is so micro level that it, I think it really is just gonna look kind of twinkly like this because um, if, the, if the glitter was larger size particle, you'd be able to see more of the rainbows, right? Uh, reflecting off the hollow, but because it's so micro, um, really, I think you'll just see like some sparkly like that, which, hello, I'm all here for, of course. So again, it's not just a black to red multi-chrome um, formula color. It's Actually, it's got the micro um, hollow glitter in there, which I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate. Okay. Now, I, <laughs> uh, I know you're probably with me in this when I say this color right here has been coming out like so much this summer, the last like two, three months um, that like I feel like so many brands this last two, three months have come out with this like exact same um, color and shimmer um, comb combination. I guess it's just really popular um, this season, but um, this is Mooncat's uh, <laughs> version of it. So this color is called River Sticks. River Sticks, okay. And yeah, it's like, how would you describe this? Just like a teal, like a teal greenish blue with a, you know, greenish blue shimmer fla flash, you know, which makes it kind of bright, you know, when, it, when the sun reflects on, it makes the shimmer flash, it makes it kind of bright and cute, you know what I mean? So, but again, there are several, several brands um, I mean, you've probably seen some yourself uh, that have come out with a, with a very similar color to this one this season. So again, you might already have a dupe that's close enough from another brand. You might not need that River Sticks one, but if you don't have one yet, 
then you know you might want to consider this one from Mooncat. Okay, here's another shimmer. So this is the third shimmer formula of the collection. We have the red, that's the straight shimmer, and then the river sticks, that's the straight shimmer. And then this is the third straight shimmer formula of the collection, which is called Stolen Ambrosia, okay? I hope I'm saying that right, but it's Stolen Ambrosia, okay? And this one's actually surprisingly really pretty. Um, you know, I'm not a huge orange or coral person, but again, like it has, you know, like a, like an orangey corally base, orangey corally pink, uh, sorry, orangey slash corally slash peach base. But then um, the shimmer, uh, yes, it shifts to that intense gold color, but it also um, has like that peachy pink color too. And I think that's why I'm liking it, you know, cause it's not like, it's not like a very um, orangey, reddish, orangish, um, it's not too warm. The pink that it shifts to, again, it's more of like a, um, a cool leaning peach, peachy pink, if, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot better <laughs> way to describe these colors. Uh, I've just, Sometimes, you know, I'm just at a, I'm just here over here chilling and my brain just kind of chilling too. And it's not really, it's the weekend. So <laughs> my brain's not trying to work too hard on these things. Um, but again, like if you see right there, it's obviously pink, but it's on the cooler side, right? Like, I like that. I like that. But again, yes, you have this very intense, beautiful, golden, like almost a limey golden uh, shift as well. And then, you know, just the regular peach, peachy base color. I like it, actually. I think it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Um, again, that's Stolen Ambrosia. Okay, and then the last one of the Underworld collection from Mooncat is called Pomegranate Seeds. Pomegranate Seeds. Okay, and this is a different formula than what we've seen so far. Um, it's almost like the same base color as this House of Hades. Like if we look at the base color, it looks about the same, to be honest with you. Um, even the shimmer flash looks the same. Like if you see in certain light, when we hit the light a certain way, like right there, the House of Hades blue shimmer flash and then the blue shimmer flash right here. It looks about the same. The difference that we're looking at is House of Hades, you can see it has the same blue color micro flake here in their formula. And then the pomegranate seeds by contrast, it has these pink um it might be metallic you know honestly i get confused sometimes on all the different types of flakies there are but it's basically pink flakies like a very light light pink flaky in there um so i don't know what type of flaky it is uh, the reason why i'm saying possibly metallic instead of 
um, iridescent is because they do stick out more like right here uh, what, be, you know when the shimmer flash is very intense you can still see the pink flakies um, also shining off the light so it might be the UCC the ultra chrome chameleon flakes in there um, I'm not that sure but Again, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a very, very light color pink flaky though, like almost, hmm. It's like a washed out pink, um, like as if, almost like if it was a Pepto-Bismol pink, but then you made it like a that that color like very dusty and um, washed out. That's the kind of pink it is. All right, so we're gonna take a look at these swatched now, quickly. I'm gonna do two coats of each color. And I already know that the two coats was fine on my, um, on my nails. Okay, so of this House of Hades color, I mean. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try this. I mean, again, I've already tried this one. <laughs> and it was actually really fabulous. Um, it was easy to work with. Um, I know I said in my the video I did a little while ago of Mooncat, the Alice in Wonderland one, that I was pleasantly surprised because Mooncat had changed from when I had first tried them, when they first uh, rebranded to Mooncat a few years ago. And I really wasn't that impressed at the time. So I stopped buying, um, you know, for the last couple years or whatever. But when I tried the Alice in Wonderland collection box, um, recently, I was actually pleasantly surprised. And then in that that one, I said, oh, um, you know, if Mooncat comes out with like a Halloween collection or something soon, like I'll go ahead and try that. And then <laughs> like, of course, like literally like two weeks later, they came out with this Underworld co collection. <laughs> Which I know is not technically Halloween y, but you know, I mean, the colors, come on, it could, it could work, right? It, they could work for Halloween season. So I'm like, oh, okay. So then I'm, you know, and then I got really like happy that I got it because I was actually, again, I'm pleasantly surprised because they upgraded their brush. And I feel like they've, uh, they've upgraded their formula, uh, formulations too, like, from a few years ago. And I appreciate that. Like, you know, when when makers listen to their customers and they continue to make self-improvements on their brand and their products, I really appreciate that. And you know, everyone learns and grows over time and and um you know, so I I gave this brand a second chance and now I'm liking it. So, okay, so that was two coats right there. And yeah, this one's just stunning. And again, even though there's a little bit of that micro flake texture, which makes it, you know, extra special, and I love it in that case, um, but you do not need any special, um, you know, smoothing base or top coat or anything like that. Like it's perfectly fine. So I, again, I highly recommend this one if they end up restocking it and you're able to grab it. So this is, again, it's called House of Hades. Okay. The next color is, let me shake them up. And I'm trying to, you know, remember to shake these more vigorously like before I do the swatching just to make sure that they're good. Um, okay, this one, again, is called Pandemonium. Okay. I have not swatched 
these other colors I only did the last I only used the last one so far so see the brush is really nice it's a very smooth paddle brush oh this one's beautiful you guys oh it's pretty and it was very smooth very smooth it felt like butter yeah oh it's cute yeah it's cute Yeah, and like I said, it's a little on the cooler side, even though it does have a slight gold um, flash to it. I I don't know. Everyone's different, and everyone's skin tone is different, but I prefer that. Like, I prefer reds that are on the cooler side, not the warmer side. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is... Um, Let's see, like on the cooler side, you'd be going more towards a purple lean, like maybe, you know, like if you have the reds that are more of the berry tone, like that. I prefer that, but everyone's different. Um, you know, some people prefer the warmer type reds, which are uh, like, let's say more on the orangey side. So let's say if you have like a brick a brick red or something or an orangey red, right? That's on the warmer side. And then sometimes you have um, just a very like neutral red, which is kind of like just in the middle, you know, not too warm, not too cool. Um, this one is really pretty, you guys. This one's called Pandemonium. And again, it went on very smooth and very pretty. Yeah, like pretty much two coats. I mean, again, it always depends. It always depends like how long are your nails, how much visible um, nail line that you're okay or not okay with seeing. Are you wearing any, what kind of base coat are you wearing? Are you wearing a blurring base coat? Are you wearing a see-through base coat? You know, it always just depends. Um, if your nails are a little bit longer, you might want to use more than two coats. You know, mine are just short, so two coats are usually enough. Okay, again, this one's called Gates of Hell. This is the black to red multi-chrome with the micro hollow glitters in it. Oh, see how smooth that is? Like you can literally see how smooth that is. How, oh, sorry. How smooth and buttery this is, right? Look how smooth and buttery that is. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay, now you're seeing that this is only one coat, so of course it's gonna be a little bit see-through in spots, but but you're starting to see the twinkle that I was talking about. And you know, you guys know that I like that. Like, I, I, like you, you might think, oh, black to red multi-chrome, that's already uh, a fancy formula or something. But for me, uh, I, 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 <laughs> I like a little bit of extra bling, a little bit extra sparkle, a little bit of extra twinkle. So I actually really appreciate that Moon Cat added this in here, this micro glitter. I really appreciate that. Okay, check this out. See that? Whoa, that's nice. That's nice. Wow, see how smooth that is? Wow. Oh, I like that. And yeah, I probably didn't need to do that many brush strokes. <laughs> but you all know I'm not the best painter, you guys, and I always try to improve. And But I did want it to look nice. Like, I did want to make sure that it was representing correctly. 
if and it, you know that's why I did a couple extra brush strokes because I wanted to make sure that my poor painting skills didn't uh, reflect on here. This is really really pretty. This is a lot prettier in person. It's hard to show these kind of formulas on the camera. It's hard to show correctly because the lighting, the, the lighting with, with changes in the lighting, it also changes how it looks like. Let me see if I can grab, uh, I have this little <laughs> tiny, 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 tiny flashlight that I actually got at the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. I just wanna see if this helps at all to um, show you the little glitter in there. There you go. Oh, see, look how cute that is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, see that? Yeah, this is really nice. I really, really like this one. I'll probably be wearing this one at Halloween. Halloween time. Yeah, that's pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I already like the black to red um, multi-chrome formula. Um, but I do appreciate, like I said, the ad added extra sparkle in there. Nice. Okay, next. Okay, next is River Sticks. Yep, River Sticks. Let me just shake extra time and... Okay, here we go with this one. Oh, my stomach. My stomach just growled. I think it's almost time for lunch. Okay. Yeah, so this, again, this is one of the straight sheer formulas. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's no added flakes, there's no added glitter, etc. It's just a, um, the formula is just shimmer, which is fine with me. It usually ends up being beautiful. Um, but yeah, shimmer can be, there's like large particle shimmer, there's smaller particle shimmer, there is shimmer that shifts to all different range of colors. Um, and I love shimmer that just like, you know, shifts all different colors of the rainbow. I love that. And then there's some like this one which is also beautiful, where the shimmer is kind of like the same-ish color as the base, maybe one level brighter. And so, yeah, what that does is it helps the polish. I don't know if you watch um, on YouTube, the girl named Kelly Marissa, but if you're familiar with Kelly Marissa on YouTube, she uses the phrase called glowing from within. So yeah, that, that's what I think of when I see makers like that do shimmer that's a similar shade to the base, like this one is an example. It makes it look like it's glowing from within. And this one's honestly a little bit more sheer than the other one, so I'm gonna do one more coat. And again, it's smooth, very smooth formula, very nice. Wow. Okay, um, so yeah, so there you can see it's kind of like, it's got that glow from within formula, right? Where it looks kind of glowy. Okay, you can see the shimmer sparkling really nice. So yeah, even though that's sparkling, that is that is just shimmer. That's not any uh, glitter or anything like that. You won't really need 
you will not need any special type of smoothing base coat. Even on that, the last one we looked at with the micro glitter, the glitter is so micro sized that you probably will not need any special glitter grabber base coat because it's so micro. Um, usually like the rule is like the thick, like the bigger and the chunkier the glitter is or flakies and the more dense then the more texture you'll have and the more that you will need to use a smoothing top coat or glitter grabber top coat it's kind of the same thing just a different name okay so this one's called stolen ambrosia okay very pretty okay let me swatch this one see how this one looks Okay, so this is again just a straight shimmer. It's very pretty. Again, I don't really like oranges, but this is more of like a peachy pink, which I do like. And then it does have like a strong gold shimmer flash. But yeah, you can see here, I've got tons of polish on my fingers per usual. Um, you can see how sheer it is. Like, see how I put my finger? You could see my finger behind. This is only one coat, but you can see that it is more sheer than the other ones, right? So you'll need two, probably three coats of this one. Which, to me, I'm not mad at that. Like, I don't mind... Uh, using three coats for example like when it starts getting more than three coats like that's when i start being like hmm you know um when it gets to more than three coats that's especially when i start thinking like maybe i should use a color tinted blurring base coat or an undie or something like that to kind of, you know, um, assist, I guess you can call it, um, assist the polish so that I don't need to use that many coats of it. Okay, and honestly, I didn't let it dry enough on that last coat, but, but um, you get the hint on this one. Um, it is very pretty. And actually on camera, you're seeing that gold shimmer flash a lot more intensely than I'm seeing it in person. In person, I'm seeing it, but I'm seeing more, in person, I'm seeing more of the peachy, the pinky peach color. And on the video, it's, it's almost like you're seeing mostly the, the gold. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, but yeah, this one is a little bit sheer even after three coats. So, um, I would maybe recommend a blurring base coat under this one, unless you like it sheer, you know, cause that's what I'm saying. Like everybody's different and there's no right or wrong way to where your polish is. It's how it's whatever makes you happy. So if you just wanted to wear like one coat, one light sheer coat of this color over your nails, it would actually look really pretty, I think. Um, you know, and it would just give it that like hint of color and it would look really pretty. Okay, last one, you guys. This one's called pomegranate seeds. And that is kind of cute because like the pink seeds against this dark blue base, it does kind of look like, excuse me, pomegranate seeds. So this is the one that has like, that's like an obvious flaky formula. So um, let's check it out. Ah, 
Ah, still very smooth and buttery. Okay, nice. And creamy, nice. All right. Um, it looks, the base looks a little bit more purple. Um, swatched out. Of course, the the um, the vivid blue flash looks very blue. But um, if you just look at the base, though, look at the base without the shimmer next to the Hades blue. See this one? The pomegranate seeds looks more purple. You see that? But it does have the blue shimmer flash, so that will make it look more blue. But technically, this one is a purple base with the pink flakies and the blue shimmer flash is what it is. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Mm. I like it. Oh, it's cute. It's cute, you guys. It's cute. Oops. Um, <laughs> I know my lighting is not good in here, you guys, and I'm sorry about that. I wanted to do this filming outside and everything, but it wasn't in the cards for today. But look how pretty that is. You can see... Um, hopefully you can see it. <laughs> um, you see, like, the little pink? I mean, they're very, like, kind of small flakes. You know, it's not, it's not like some of the other brands I've shown you on the other videos have huge fish flake-sized flakes. That's not what's in this one. Um, there are a lot of flakes. It's not a bomb, but there are a good amount of flakes in here. But they are smaller, if you can kind of see that. And I know it is hard to see, and I'm sorry. Uh, I'm hoping that the neighbors will be done soon. So I can go back to filming outside. I don't know if they're, it's like literally they're ripping out trees and stuff. I don't know if they're planning to build a pool, but it could be. Because they were um, doing it. I waited all day and night yesterday. They were still doing the work. And then this morning, I thought I was going to be able to film outside. And then the workers came back. So, um, yeah. Okay, I made kind of a huge mess with this one. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but again, it is more purple. It's hard to see. I know, I get it. I'm, I apologize. It's hard to see, and I made a mess on this one. But, but that is the surprise of this one. Um, it is more purple uh, than it looks in the bottle. So, and of course... I ain't mad at that because I love purple and I cannot get enough. Okay, guys, so what was my favorite? Of course, my favorite is this blue right here, House of Hades. Why is it my favorite? I knew it was my favorite when I got it and I couldn't even wait to swatch it first before I put on my nails. I love it. Got compliments. But honestly, all of these were nice. I'd probably say my second favorite is the red to black multi-chrome Gates of Hell because I love the little um, I love the little micro glitter that it almost looks like dust size. The dust size hollow they put in there is unique, and I really like that. I appreciate it. But also the red, I I really like the red too because, like I said, the red it has like a pinky flash which I'm all here for. Um, there it is. Like a pinky purple, purpley pink flash too, which I am here for. 
All right, guys. I love you. I thank you and I appreciate everything, you guys. Um, please, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel because at, I'm waiting to reach 500 subscribers because at 500 subscribers to celebrate... I want to take us down to the Orly Color Labs in Los Angeles, which I already live in Los Angeles, but I've never been down there. I want to go down there and take you guys with me and make some super fun, creative, custom polishes, okay? And you guys will be there with me, and it's going to be a blast. So I'm hoping to get to 500 subscribers and we're gonna do, we'll go do that. And so please help support me and my channel and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're a fan of Wildflower Lacquer, hit the subscribe button because every month I have a pretty decent sized haul from them and I'm just waiting to film that one next. So it's coming up, all right guys? I love you. Again, thank you so much. Have a good week. Bye.